Hello again. My name's Kevin. You're watching Leatherneck Prepper. So what I'm going to show you today is how to strip apart the top half of your Glock. Every component with the exception of the sights. I see zero reason to mess with the zero on the sights. Set up the sight removal tool and knock them out. Back here you have a sight removal tool. Goes in a vise. And you push it from one side to the other. Up here you have a small screw that you need to use with some <coughs> rock set or some uh, I think it's the blue Loctite. I haven't done it in a while. I'm pretty sure it's the blue Loctite. So, gun safety checked. Just pulled that much of it out. When I do something like this, I never ever have any weapon or any bullets in the room. So safety checked. Down, grab, pull slightly back, grab your tabs, push down to tabs on both sides, squeeze the trigger, push forward, set this out of the way. Remove your main spring dual captive reach to wall. Remove your barrel. get down to the nitty-gritty it's really simple if you look down in here you see a little black tab right there push this in push it down keeping your finger or your thumb over as you push this out because all of this is under spring tension this here is actually your firing pin and firing pin, pin spring that's how you lighten your trigger by removing this <clears throat> you have your sleeve and you have your um, for the life of me I can't remember uh, cups these here are marine time cups marine cups as they're called because they allow water to pass through keep this under pressure as well as you pull out your spring for your uh, oh crap can't think what's called now anyways Pull this out, keep your finger over. And what happens is this is captive right here and it's under spring tension. So let's just say uh, that is another drop safety, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pull out your extractor. There's your extractor. Like I said, this is under spring tension. Drop it out. This should be done at least once a year. I took and have polished mine all up real nice and pretty. There it is. This is every piece of your Glock on your slide. See how quick and easy that was? If you own a Glock, or you own a Smith, or you own a SIG, you need to learn how to take all of these apart. <clears throat> Stove piping, erratic ejection, I would check the springs that. Extractor that will uh, cause them to stovepipe a lot of times because it doesn't kick them out quite as fast. Uh, let's go ahead and take down your striker, your striker spring. So what you do here is you, I take and let me move this out of the way. You should have parts, all extra parts, to do this with. Let's get this. Might be a little bit more difficult. On, your, uh, on camera but I take and they make a special block for this I don't use it just pull this down and they pull these two cups up be very careful because that spring is under tension there's your spring there's your firing pin there's your cup for your firing pin it will only go in one way see the cutout right here sorry about that there's your firing pin. You need to inspect your firing pin at least once a year. Look at your cups. You can make these out of your old ones just by putting little notches in them. I might show you a video on how to do that. So you can see the little divots. There it is. There it is. See the little divots cut out right here and right here. This is just in a half. There's four of them total. 
So, here we go. That's all your parts and pieces completely stripped down. Now let's show you how to put it all back together. <clears throat> put your striker back in. Get your spring. Remember before it was under tension. Now it's not going to be under tension, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. Uh, usually I have a block here to push down on because that's going to want to push out. So, you push this in. Get your first cup in and be very careful because these cups will go flying. Hold that cup in. Grab your second cup. Push it in. There you go. Don't just let it go. Make sure it's captive. Inspect it. Make sure it's all the way in. It doesn't really matter the orientation of these things. So, Next up, you take your spring here, your uh, ah, drop safety. I think that's what it's called. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. So you want it to go your L facing that way. Drop it back in. Remember, it's under spring tension, so you push it down. Put your extractor with the claw facing forward inside. Now this right here actually captures this, that little plunger. So now you know it's in there because it didn't come flying out. You can push down on it. By the way, these have little plastic caps on it. You can't really see, but it's got a little plastic cap, so I don't mind using it even though they're made of steel. Take your plunger, or you know, I don't even know what that's called. I'd be lying if I told you. Push it in piston it goes in so far put your <clears throat> sleeve and um, what do you call it firing pin back in now you'll notice that these things I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up on camera it's pushed out just a little bit so what you want to do take your back sleeve get it lined up push down see how I just push that right in and grab your little tool push down pushing this all the way back in until it catches it oh see how it just popped up push this in get just enough of your back cover slide your back cover on voila it's in put your barrel back in put your main spring back in refill spring Yep. Put together. There we go. Check it for function. Let me do this. Get back down normal. Check function. Squeeze. Function. Squeeze. And that's how you strip apart. Your slide on a Glock. This is a fifth generation Glock. This is actually my Glock 19X. I've carried this thing for a long time. I don't carry it anymore. I've moved up to a SIG. I like the SIG 229, the P229, but you can never go wrong with the 19X, in my opinion. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You can always email me at xcooperx at protonmail.com. Remember, a few problems in life cannot be solved by Battleship Broadside. Have a good one, guys.